Let's write a C program to count the number of positives, negatives and zeros in the series of numbers entered by the user using ternary operator and without using arrays. Okay, any number greater than zero is positive, any number less than zero is negative. So let's get started. Limit is the maximum numbers to be entered. Num is the actual numbers to numbers entered by the user. Positive zero, I'll take another variable negative and assign it to zero two. And I'll take another variable zero and assign, initialize it with number zero. I'll ask the user to enter the limit that is the maximum limit uh, he or she wants to enter, maximum numbers. So I'll store it inside the address of variable limit. Now I'll iterate through the while loop until this limit number of times, until limit is zero. Inside while loop, I'll decrement the value of limit by one for each duration of this while loop. So here I'll ask the user to enter the number and store it inside the address of variable num. So whenever the user enters the number, I'll check if it's positive, negative or zero using ternary operator. So first, this is the syntax, I'll check if user entered number is greater than zero. In that case, it's a positive number. So I'll increment the value of positive by one or else it must be less than zero, okay? So I'll write another uh, ternary operator. This is nested ternary operator. So this is the syntax. So while, so the condition is num is less than zero. In that case, number must be negative. So I'll increment the value of negative by one. If not, then it must be zero. So I'll increment the value of zero by one. So that's it. So by the end of this while loop, positive, negative and zero will have the number of positive numbers, negative numbers and zeros entered by the user. And after the while loop exits, the control exits the while loop, I'll print the values of positive, negative and zeros entered by the user. So I'll display a message to the user that is enter percentage D numbers, that is whatever is present inside the limit. Okay, so that he or she will know how many numbers they need to enter. I'll compile and execute this. Five, I'll give the limit as five. Minus two, zero, five, six, and nine. So three positive numbers, one negative and one zero. Okay, it's working. So please visit the link present in the description section of this YouTube video for source code notes and discussion about this topic. Please stay subscribed to our YouTube channel and blog. Share this video with your friends online and please do not forget to like this video on YouTube. Thank you.